Okay, it is three o'clock in the morning. I'm officially heading to the airport to fly to Tokyo. This is the most random trip ever. I had five days to plan the trip and then head out there. Thank you guys so freaking much for helping me out with this. I am so thoroughly stoked. I've been really wanting to go back to Tokyo since I left and we're finally going back. Okay, so about halfway to the airport, I realized I forgot my passport. Luckily, I was able to meet with my wife and she saved the day. Things might not always work out the way you expected, but they will work out, just be positive. Okay, so made it to the airport, but honestly, I think I've got an hour to get through TSA and get to my plane. So we'll see what happens. Fingers, all freaking fingers and toes crossed. This is like photo finish again. I don't know why I am like, Horrible at getting on time. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Officially made it and uh, got an even chicken sandwich, so I'm totally good now. But uh, there's not a lot of people on this plane, so we got moved up a little bit. And we shall see where we go from here. Chicago. Probably the biggest plane I've ever been on. But I got bumped up to first class because they didn't have my seat correct, so pretty awesome. I was trying to get to my hotel from the airport and I like Googled it. I was like, oh, we're cool. I know exactly what I need to do. KK line to the freaking other line and then the other line comes right out at my hotel. But I was like, oh yeah, I gotta figure it out. I don't know exactly where to go. So I didn't know which one the KK line was and I asked and the lady was like, yeah, this is the KK line. It's not the KK line. So I'm almost in Yokohama right now, by the way. So I went the exact opposite direction. Whoops, we'll see what happens though. Either way, that just goes to show, you can be prepared as you want to, just learn how to adapt to situations. I think that's the best thing you can do. Okay, so officially we know where we're at and I liked it, wow. But uh, Familiar Street, this is actually the same route that we took to get to the Tokyo Dome when I came here for 1OK Rock a while ago, so. Just being here, like it reminds me why I really, really loved this place. Like it's such a cool, unique area. It's quiet, it's beautiful, there's cool things all around, and there's really nice people everywhere. It's such a cool place, man. I freaking love Tokyo. This is where I want to move. I'd love to live here. Okay, officially made it to my hotel room and it's just as tiny as I remember but last time it was me and Jody here this time it's just me I got a corner lot what and then like this boom tiny little bathroom a little old me but yeah exactly like I remember so yeah okay so officially I have a game plan now we're gonna go to Tower Records which actually has one of the Rock and Read magazines with Psyche on the front cover of it so we're gonna go grab that really quick and bring that to somebody that's at the concert and then I'm gonna find some food around there and then we're gonna fart around until Jake gets here I think he said it'll be around 10 <laughs> We freaking found it, finally, oh my gosh, it took forever. But okay, hell yeah, I'm gonna get one. So we got the stuff that we came here for, now we're gonna go grab some ramen, so let's go do this. Find a place that has really good tonkatsu. 
Man, this is totally the place. Looks delicious. Let's do this. So it's the day of the concert. I just woke up, took a shower last night. I kind of just passed out. I went and ate some ramen, came back to the hotel. I was gonna wait around on Jake, but it was like 9.50 whenever I like laid down for a second. And then I woke up and it was like 11. I was like, shit. I'm gonna do 100 pushups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats. Gonna go meet Jake downstairs. Then we're gonna go meet up with Dragonfly. We're gonna go walk to some shrines. Then we're gonna go meet up with everybody. Before the Nemo Filler concert, we're gonna go eat some ramen, surprisingly. And then we're gonna walk down to Nippon Budokan where we can see the merch booth. And I'm gonna get in some other stuff before the concert. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Let's freaking do this. Boys are back in town. <laughs> the boys are back. The Shirt Brothers. Shirt Brothers. Shirt Brothers. <laughs> freaking stoked, man. So like, uh, this is our second time we've been together. Dude. It is. It yeah. is. Freaking, yeah. you live here, so I'm yeah. green with jealous envy. And this is also our second, second Nemo Filo concert. Though. Thank you to the rest of Two and a Half Brothers for lending <laughs> Jake to yeah. us. I'm man. so excited. So now we're gonna be great. Yeah, dude. So we're gonna smash some ramen and then hang out for a while and then at around like 5.30, I think we're meeting up with everybody at Nippon Nibutakon. Yep. <sighs> so dude, but seriously, thank you for being here. Cheers, homies, to a good night. I'm freaking stoked. Cheers to, uh, happy Nemo Day. Yes, happy Nemo Day! <laughs> so we're actually here right now at the ramen shop. We're meeting up with a lot of people. Uh, they're gonna be going to the Nemo Phila concert afterward. <laughs> You want to do it again? No idea. This, this ain't shit. This is standard. This is, it's his good though. I like that one. Dude, um, the ramen shop I went to last night, they had a miso ramen. It was really cheesy. Dude, it was like one of my favorite ramens. They had like favorite non-tonkatsu ramen. Like apple cheese in there. It just had a cheesy flavor to it, but the miso was really good, dude. It was so good. You gotta hit up a Kokoichi ramen Kugus. What level do you get though? I'm like a four. Yeah. I'm a four. I'm like a three or a four. When I don't feel like suffering like four or five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I can go higher and just go four. What? My boss gets level 20. Like, we get Kugos every week. Your boss every gets Thursday. level 20? Every Thursday we get Kugos. And he Your boss a masochist and I love it. Good thing I looked up dude. I was about to pick my nose. <laughs> no, no, I'm zooming in. You're cool. <laughs> Zooming in on the hair. On your nose. <laughs> so that's Budokan right there. Now where we're supposed to go in, I have no clue. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the line. This is just for their merch. We're here in the merch line right now. Where are you? Where are you from? Uh, from LA. Here for yes. some shows. Uh, Heck yeah. Nemphila and a bunch of others. Basically nice. here for 11 days doing 10 shows oh, in 11 dang. days. Oh my god. That's so, awesome, man. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Where did you first hear about Nemphila from? I'm sure on YouTube somewhere. I mean, I like during the pandemic, I just kind of mm -hmm. started listening to a lot more music than I had before. And yeah. so, you know, bandmate Nemphila and several others, you know, just ended up finding a lot of bands. And, you know, this is the second time coming to Japan for music. Came in July of last year. Too nice. I was at the Nemphila Tokyo Garden Theater show. Oh yeah. Sick yeah. A lot of fun. Actually, yeah. I was telling these guys earlier. I, I got a pick from uh, Saki at the uh, oh, at that show, which is again. awesome. So. Um yeah, so back here for the Budokan show hey, and going cool, to a bunch man. of other shows on here too. Yeah, very cool. Well, again, thank you, yeah. man. Thank you. It's really cool that they're doing is they're actually taking donations for the Earthquake Relief Fund here. So we're going to go donate and actually you get a little cool thing whenever you donate. So we're going to go do that really quick. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Well, donation hey, brother. brother. <laughs> He's a donation brother. <laughs> we're in a cafe at the moment. And in the feel is like doing screaming metal in the background. Yeah, I freaking love this. It's fantastic. It's cool. There's a lot of people. I mean, a ton of freaking people. I'm so stoked for Nemophila, like seeing how far they've come. And this venue, man, this is such a cool place. Like, look. Whoop, whoop. 
Very interesting video. I'm stoked to see the inside of it. I'm not sure if they're gonna let us film very much or not. Met a lot of really cool Nemophila fans. It's been really awesome seeing how many people actually check out our channel and have learned about them through our reactions, which has been wild. I had a few people come up to me and say they found out about them from my reactions and have actually came here today because of that. And that's so freaking cool. We'll be catching you guys in there, hopefully. Thank you for showing us this new, incredible music. This is amazing. They're being compared to the Jews. I know, it's freaking nuts. How is Yeah. There are literally so many more people here than I was even expecting, which is freaking awesome. What was it that we said last time? Chew high sipping? Chew high sipping? Chew high sipping? Chew high sipping? Yeah. I'm so hyped for this. There are freaking so same. many people here. Like, I don't know, you guys can't really see the scale, but there's oh. like thousands of people back there. At least 10 times as many people as our last concert. Yeah, for them. It's cool to see how much they've grown, man. They've done so much in, in such, such a, a short amount of time. time. Yeah. yeah. God, so I'm thoroughly excited to see this concert and see like how much longer they actually make this as well too. Like I wonder how long their set list is gonna be. The set list, I'm so excited. Dude, Hopefully we get so some more excited. covers too, man. It's not, like, yes, yes. Okay, if you called it. Well, Master of Puppets. Master of Puppets. I'm calling it. I hope <gasps> they play, if they do Sugar again, I'll be super hyped. Sugar would be cool. Master of Puppets would be amazing. Be and then also, what was the Slipknot song that they did? Uh, they did Sick. 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 Sick by Slipknot. Yes. That would be mine. Oh, but either one of I them. I hope they do all three. It, yeah. I hope they do all three. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to try to find out where we're supposed to be going. This is a lot bigger venue than the last time. We were like, oh, go in the side door. Walk up some stairs. We're going to get like lost a at least place. twice. Yes. At least <laughs> yeah. twice. At least. We'll get lost. <laughs> Jake didn't tell me I'm not supposed to shake hands. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm just Actually, hey. I'd just like to take a quick moment to say I freaking love this man, one of the nicest dudes I've ever met. Yo, that's good. <laughs> You're not supposed to shake hands, just bow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next time on there. Oh my god. This is so different. Wow. The sound, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> the concert, yes. <laughs> Seriously, freaking awesome. It was amazing. Oh my god.
So we just left the concert. We're about to be going to grab some food uh, in Rapungi. So pretty stoked about that. But honestly, the concert was amazing. That was one of the greatest concerts and official. I'm saying it here. Mayu is my favorite female vocalist now. Her range is insane. Like she has the most insane range of any other vocalist I've ever heard. Her vocals are so good. We'll talk about it more at the hotel because my phone's about to die. But I'm gonna go grab some food and hopefully I can take some videos while we're getting some food. So fingers crossed. I'll keep up to date with you guys. We're officially in Rapungi. And I have no clue where we're going. Thanks, I have no clue where we're going. Jake is taking us to another place. No idea. No idea where we're heading to right now. But we're going somewhere. Rapungi! Jumanji? Are oh, you taking us to Manji? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, so random story is happening here. Jake has brought us to this random place called Jumanji. Why we been swindled? And now we're just like standing here and walking with it. So it is my last full day here in Tokyo. Last night's concert was freaking nuts. It was awesome. Seriously, again, I just like to say, probably one of the best performances I've seen from them ever. They crushed last night. They were so good. I was so proud of them. And uh, we ended up getting to hang out for a little bit after the show. Um, there was just a lot of people there, so I really didn't get to do like an interview or get anything signed or anything like that. But I was very, very proud of how much they've actually accomplished since we saw them last time. So today, game plan, we're going to go around and see a lot of different stuff. Going to meet a couple of content creators that I have talked to online. So right now we're actually going to be heading to Shinjuku to go eat lunch at this Tonkatsu place. So I'm really stoked. Let's go over there. Okay, so there's like a street festival or something like that going on over here and they're playing Idol by Yoi Soba. So I'm gonna go over there and check this out. This is pretty awesome. Got to have lunch and met a freaking awesome, awesome person and content creator. And uh, went to a shrine, saw a lot of really cool stuff around there. And then now we're heading to meet with Chaitan, which is one of the coolest random mascots in Japan. I'm very excited about it. But I'm also kind of nervous because the place we're going is kind of wild looking. So we'll see what happens. But I'm very stoked to meet this person. Life is random accept the randomness, lean into the randomness, that's what I would say. 
it's a lot of fun once you start doing that. So again, I'm kind of nervous. Like, I don't know. I don't know. This person's got a huge, huge Instagram, huge Twitter, huge following online because they're hilarious and I really love all their content. But I'm meeting them at their studio and uh, I don't really know. I don't know what to expect. This is going to be awesome. He actually has uh, a handler here as well too. And they asked me if I can do parkour. So, I don't know what I'm in store for. I have no clue. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> so we just got done filming and taking some pictures and now I have a guardian to take me to the train station. <laughs> yes! Oh, that was so funny. He was hilarious the whole time. Like his personality was amazing. Now we're gonna to go to the Shinsoji Temple and hopefully we get to see some like street uh, vendors and stuff before they all close up because I know they close at night. But either way, I'm excited about it. Also, this is beautiful art right here, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna go down this place. I'm gonna eat every single thing they got here. We're doing this. I'm gonna eat all of it. We're going for it. <sighs> I just got done eating some street food, which was freaking delicious. Now we're rolling out of this place. We're gonna go ahead and find some other stuff. But the cool thing about this, like I'll show you all this really quick. Night, all this art starts coming down, which is really, really cool. So we're gonna walk around and look at this. Apparently it becomes kind of like a somewhat of a ghost town. Walk around and check out this place after everything closes because apparently there's a lot of art and that's gonna be cool to check out. So let's do that together. What's so wrong? This is not a ghost town. This is like the most lively place I've ever seen. It's actually really awesome. I'm gonna walk around and see if I can't find a place that does like a, like a Yakiniku or something like that. This is seriously freaking cool. There's so many food places to eat. And uh, I'm gonna try to find a place where you can cook in front of yourself. That's what I'm gonna try to find. Find somewhere like that. Do some chew high. This is genuinely what I love about this place. There's literally always something going on. And not only is there always something going on, but there's always people interested in what's going on. Like there, there's a lot of people just go off randomly, just really getting into this band. They're all clapping along to the songs. They know the lyrics. There's like so many people out here that are like genuine fans 
of that group that's just playing on the street. I think that's really cool. That's something I feel like, in America at least, or even in like Nashville, I'm used to street performers kind of, and it, in some places they're considered like a nuisance. And I think it's crazy, but like here, it's really appreciated. I think that's awesome. I love the culture here. There's so much going on always. And again, it's not just that there's things going on. It's like people are supporting it. I think that's really cool. I love that about this place. You know what you're thinking? John, you haven't gave us enough content yet. I need you to get back out there and go make some more content. Well, I'm glad you said something because now I have to go and grab some ramen. And as we all know, I hate that more than anything in the world. But we're gonna go do it for you guys. So come with me, let's go grab some ramen. It's our last night in town. We can't go to bed at like seven points. No, this is. I just wanna say like, it is completely not lost on me that I am in a really wild, like part of my life, you know? Like currently in Tokyo for the second time in like a few months, whenever the first time I went, I was like, this is a once in a lifetime trip. I'll never be able to do this again. And I was really excited about it. I'm still really, really excited about it. I'm, it's not lost on me that uh, that I'm here right now and that I'm like very blessed in my life at the moment. So I just wanna say thank you guys. If you're watching this video right now, thank you. You freaking helped me get here. So in saying that, we're walking together. It's a little bit of a walk. I didn't realize how far away this ramen shop is. It's one of the only ones that's open right now. We're gonna walk out to that one and grab some food and then just chill for a minute and just eat some ramen and enjoy the moment because we're here for one last night and I'm thoroughly stoked. So, just wanna soak it in. Okay, so it's our last few hours in Tokyo and I'm gonna take advantage of it. So there is a temple that's about 20 minute train ride from here and it's where they actually shot the bandmade music video. It's like right in front of there. So I'm gonna go there, gonna go check that out. Maybe grab some food and then head to the airport around three. So that's my game plans. Let's freaking do this. Bye. Uh, so we're out here walking to the shrine and I got completely drenched. I mean, it just came freaking monsoon. So that was wild. It was just lightly raining at first, and I was like, ah, oh, it should be fine. And then it just went, <sighs> freaking, a whole cloud fell on me. But anyway, this is a really pretty little place. I don't know. It's actually like the entryway to a temple. So, worst place to be stuck under, waiting for it to stop raining. Okay, so we came the way that Google Maps told us to come and it is locked. The gate's actually locked and good luck getting through there. So I'm gonna try and see if there's another entryway, maybe on the other side of this over here. So we're gonna head that way. Maybe.
Okay, so that place was amazing. It was really cool. That's probably one of my favorite looking shrines. There was dragons everywhere. It looked very cool. But now there's about a 10 minute gap where it's not supposed to rain. So I'm gonna run to the freaking train station. I'm gonna make way to the airport. So now we're heading to the airport. But uh, it's supposed to rain a ton, so I'm trying to get there before it really just starts downpouring on us. Officially back at the airport terminal, so we're gonna be getting back on the flight, flying back home. This is a super quick trip, but it was a lot of fun. Had a blast. So I've never had sea urchin before, and last time I was here, they uh, they had it, and I was too scared to get it. So this time I'm getting some sea urchin, and I'm gonna try. Hopefully it's good. Hey, So officially just got in my car. I'm about to have to pay my parking ticket, which sucks by the way. But either way, I just want to say this has been a very, very cool, random, fun trip. And special shout out time, okay homies? First of all, Dragonfly. Never would have thought to pursue this if not for you saying you would help if I decided to do it. So thank you first and foremost for sparking this whole idea. Thank you to our Patreon. Like no way I could have made this in the least bit possible if not for our Patreon. Thank you guys tremendously. During the live streams that we did, reactions, thank you guys so much for donating. Like y'all raised all that money in a very short amount of time. And I hope that by this, I hope that we show people what's actually possible. Thank you to everybody that helped on the reaction streams. We raised the money really quickly and I, again, this is a commutative effort. There's no way I could have possibly done this by myself. I really appreciate you guys supporting my randomness. I really hope that like through us accomplishing this, planning a trip, flying out, arranging a lot of stuff on the back end, like people have sent me messages, must be nice. Oh, all this stuff, I would, but I have a mortgage. I've got all those things as well too. I have a mortgage, I have a wife, I have two daughters, I have a dog, I have a full-time job. I've got like all these different things in my life as well too. And I just hope that by accomplishing this together, people see that you can do these things. And I hope that we inspire others to do this in the future as well. Because not necessarily always as drastic as going all the way to Tokyo for a few days and flying back. But if it is your goal to go to Tokyo, maybe really taking some steps to make that happen. Maybe not in five days, but you can do it in a few months, you know, or a year from now, but really taking steps to do things in your life that you really have wanted to do. That's what I want to accomplish from this travel vlog, from doing this. I love seeing how many people came together from different cultures and all over the world. I met so many people at this concert that are from all over, all walks of life and music brought us all together. This trip has been amazing and I genuinely, genuinely appreciate everybody that's helped me make this happen. It just like, the whole time I've been like, I can't believe this is happening. And if y'all are watching the travel vlog, I'm traveling like a madman. I'm going around everywhere trying to see as much stuff because I want to take you guys with me. I want y'all to see things with me and like anybody that did support me getting over here. I just want you guys to know like I took full advantage of that time that y'all gave me over here. So that's the real reason that like every, I, any stone that I could turn over, I was just like, let's do it. If y'all need anything at all, please message me. If y'all wonder, John, how can I make this happen myself? Or John, I'm going to Japan. I want some advice on where to go or where to stay or any of those things. If y'all have anything you want to message me, or just say, hey, John, must be nice. Something, whatever you want to message. Any of my socials are at John Reeves Live. I check all of them now, even Facebook. So if y'all do message me, I will respond to you. I love you guys to death. And if y'all need anything, I'll be there. And I'll catch y'all next time. Freaking toodles!